Hey everybody, Manny Talibera here. We're on, now on day 24 of the seven figure climb. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get more done in less time. And so what we're gonna talk about here is just how to be a lot more productive. And so, like I said, in, my, in the previous video, a lot we were talking about morning routine. And my mindset is the morning routine is not important. What is um, it, the hours you work are not important. It's the things that you do in those hours that are important and the the focus and i think that's the most important part of all of this and so like i said you know in the previous video you know i'm generally noon to 3 a.m i've been trending a little bit early but i think that uh, i'm way 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 more productive than most people and the reason is because I don't have I don't allow distraction and I set everything up in a way that there's going to be very, very little distraction. So the first thing we're going to talk about is cell phones. And unfortunately, uh, this is probably going to be uh, the, the two biggest things people are going to have distraction with is cell phone and Internet. And you just really need to turn all of this stuff off. I can tell you I have three of these. I have two cell phones and I have a landline and. I couldn't even guess when the last time is that I've answered this phone. I, I wouldn't, I couldn't even, I mean, I'm sure that it's been well over 18 months. It's probably, probably been close to two years. I absolutely positively do not answer the phone unless there's some kind of an emergency or there, there's a particular reason. And I do this with the landline, the both cell phones and the landline. Now the cell phones, generally are not in the same room with me. They're both on vibrate, but everything's essentially on message. And what I mean by that is they are phones, but they're message phones. So if someone calls me, they're going to get voicemail and they're going to leave a voicemail. And then I'm going to pick and choose when I call that person back. Now, I do have a, a, like two or three people that if I'm at the desk and they call and I'm not doing something very, very important. I'll take their call and it's based on the fact they're not going to waste an hour of my time. The call is going to be very, very short and it's based on who they are. But for the most part, everyone else gets voicemail. And what, what basically I'm saying here is nothing is interrupting me. And so no interrupted calls. Everything's on a, on a script, on a schedule. I got a home phone. I've got a landline for doing out coaching calls strategy sessions and things like that. I do a lot of that on Zoom and I also like to do it on a landline because I can wear a headset and I can take notes right at the computer while I'm talking to the person. But the bottom line is I don't let any of those things interrupt me. And like I said, the comp the phone is always in another room. The these phones are always in another room. And I've had situations where I lost the phone for a week and didn't really miss it because I'm not looking for it. And I basically trained myself to not grab that every time it rings. Now, I can tell you, um, you might not be set up this way and there's more than one way to be right. But I can tell you in my it, from what I've, I've learned that if you if you answer the phone every time it rings, what you're doing is you're demonstrating how unimportant your time is and how you're willing to let anyone, any random person interrupt you and waste your time. You know, I mean, and you're going to allow that. And so, like I said, I've got I've got a business partner and I got one one or two family members and they can get a hold of me. And pretty much everyone else is going to automatically get voicemail. And I'm going to pick and choose when I call them back. Not everyone's going to get a call back. We talked about that when we were talking about Messenger. And so, um, you know, I don't answer as 95% uh, of the DMs that I get are deleted without any kind of a response. So I'll read them, make sure it's not anybody important, and I'll delete them and that they'll, they'll be gone. And when I delete them, I block them so they can't come back. And so the first thing you want to think about is you really want to train yourself. And what we're talking about here, if you want to really get a system down, start doing 20 minute, 20 minute intervals where you work for 20 minutes straight with no interruption at all and try and get to where you're doing six or eight of those a day. 
And if you do that, you're probably going to end up being more productive than 95% of the people out there. I'm actually doing 40 minutes now. I could easily do 60 minutes or 120 minutes, but I do 40 minutes and then I get up and I stretch and, and uh, walk for about five minutes. And then I come back and I continue what I'm doing. And so that's what I want you to think about here. It's all about controlling uh, your, your controlling your atmosphere and everything around you to get as much done as humanly possible. And so the first thing you do is you quit answering the phone. The second thing you do is you either shut off social media or you only look at it after that alarm goes off. And I'm talking about setting an alarm for 20 minutes or 40 minutes, working through before you before you come up for air for, for the most part. There are no apps on this phone. The only app on this phone is the Facebook app. And the reason I've got a Facebook app on this phone is because I have I am Facebook verified, but you cannot get someone on chat or on Messenger being Facebook verified. You have to use the phone, and it's crazy. You use the phone, and then they send you a DM, and then you talk to them on the computer. So I have to have it on here, but other than that, I wouldn't have any apps on the phone at all. Now, the next thing is I operate with two desktop computers, and I operate with 42-inch monitors. And there have been many, many studies on this. Rich Chevron talks about it. That Sam Evans talks about it. The bigger the monitor, the more, more productive you are. A lot of people are trying to do work on their phone or they're trying to do work on iPads or even laptops. And my advice is you want to work on a bit, as big a monitor as possible. Sam Evans does use a, a, a laptop but I think he plugs his laptop into a very large monitor. And like I said, Rich Sheffern has talked about this many, many times. Harvard did a study and they found that the size of the monitor determines how pro productive, productive people are. And so that's what I'm using. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is food. And I can tell you, food is probably going to be your biggest interruption once you get all of this down. Uh, what I generally tend to do is heat and eat uh, prefabricated pre meals or pre-cooked meals that are sometimes reheated, and they're always eaten at a computer desk. So the, I'm eating at this desk where I'm at, and it's very interesting. Sam Ovens, if you want to see someone's morning routine, Sam Ovens goes through his whole routine from like 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. He's very, very rigid. He does eat I think three meals and I think he eats, he doesn't say where he eats the meals, which is really, really irritating because I'm pretty sure he probably eats them at the computer desk. And so what I'm able to do while I'm eating, I can go through content and I binge watch a lot of content, Frank Kern, Dan Kennedy, everyone who's big in the marketplace, Russell Brunson, there's some, you know, I've been through hundreds of courses and I'll do those at lunch or dinner. And then the other thing is sometimes if I decide I want to watch a movie, I will watch that movie, but I'll do it in 20 minute intervals. So while I'm taking a break here and I'm, <clears throat> and I'm eating something, I'll watch 20 minutes of that movie and I'll come back. And what I'll do I will work until I'm so tired I can't work anymore. My my edge is gone, and when my edge is gone, then I'll I will watch the rest of those movies and things like that. But um, I do get a lot of food outside the home. When I go and get the food, though, I always bring it back. I don't like to go in a restaurant, sit down, and eat. I'm going to go to that restaurant. I'm going to do dine and dash, which means grab the food and bring it home. And what I will generally do is when I go there, I will get two meals instead of one or three meals instead of two. And so I've got a meal for now, meal for later, and meal for later, and I'm back to the heat and eat schedule. And so I'll come home, I will eat in front of the computer while I'm, you know, while I'm going through content. And so it's a way to be, um, it's a way to be productive when you're not being productive for the most part. And Sam Ovens talks about this as well. And so what he said is he doesn't like to go out to eat, but he's got a wife. He takes her out to eat once in a while, but he said that and he's got a very interesting system. It's kind of funny because I would do the same thing. And so what he does is he goes to a restaurant and they will sit you down to serve you, right? And when they come over to get the water, to get your drink order, 
Sam orders his food then. So what he does, they come over to get his drink order. He says, we're ready to order. He said, I want to order my food. And I want you to bring me the check with my food. And so what he's doing is he's really, really limiting the amount of time he's sitting in the restaurant because he's very, very, you know, productive. He wants to be at the desk. He wants to put in the time. And like I said, there's certainly more than one way to be right. People are going to do things different, but I'm just giving you ideas on how to be a lot more productive. And like I said, if you can limit your Facebook, if you can limit your internet, if you can quit answering the phone every time it rings, if you can start working 20 minutes at a time, you know, I think Dean, Dean, Jackson calls them focus finders or something where you spend 20 minutes on something. And like I said, I'm up to 40 now and I know I could do more. Uh, you will you will find that you're, you know, you'll get way, way more done than most other people out there. And then, then the other thing is you've got to create a situation where no one's bothering you. So um, I don't answer the door either. The door is pretty much the same as the phones, unless, you know, there's something scheduled that I need to sign for. I'm just not answering the door. And so uh, everyone has pretty much been trained. And when you watch Dan Kennedy and Dan Kennedy talking about productivity, he's really about all of this. And you see a lot of Dan Kennedy in what I'm talking about, except Dan doesn't even own a cell phone because he, he won't, he just won't mess with it. And he's not online. You can't email him or anything. And so he's really taken it to another degree or another level. But um, but like I said, everyone in my family is trained that they can't just show up. They can't show up. And if they call, they know they're going to get voicemail. And so you got to just kind of create these create these things. And the thing is, my advice to you is pick a pick a, a window and try and do this for three or four hours a day. You don't have to do it for 15 hours a day. And then what you want to do is see if you can't increase that window and do it more and more as you get more comfortable with it. But I can tell you, um, interruption bothers me now. I mean, not like, but it doesn't stop me. So like any little interruption, I, I, I do everything that I can to prevent that. And so just going, you going through this, no, no apps on the phone. The phones are all voicemail phones. I, I haven't answered a cell phone and, at least 18 months. I think that like the, other than emergencies, I think there was an emergency 18 months ago or so and I answered the phone. And so th that's the other thing is if I'm, I've got a call that's scheduled, I'm going to answer that or I know there's a situation I'm going to answer, but for, for the most part, nothing, un none, nothing unscheduled. No apps on the phone except for the Facebook for the reasons. Two desktop monitors with uh, two desktop computers with large monitors. And again, Sam Ovens, Sam Ovens talks about this. And like I said, I think Sam, he uses the laptop, but he plugs the laptop into a very large monitor. And then uh, food, food's going to be a big, big source of wasting time. If you're, if you're not prepared, you got to be, do a lot of heat and eat. You got to find people who can bring you food or make food for you. And I do a combination of all of those things. And then when I do, like when I have doctor's appointments, which is a real nuisance, doctor's appointments, hair appointments, things that I have to leave the house for, I will go to a drive-thru and I'll get two or three meals at that drive-thru so that I can um, so that I can be productive for the next day and a half or so. And sometimes I will go to more than one drive-thru. Now, that, that's another thing, too. Um, it's not uncommon for me to go to two or three different drive throughs when I'm going because I'm out, I don't want to be out. So when I'm out, I'm going to get as much done in that time as possible so that I don't have to go out again for the, for a long time. Um, and then the, the last thing we'll talk about is Walmart Plus, Amazon. I, I utilize all of those to as much as you can really do it. And Walmart Plus, what's interesting, um, they deliver anything. Anything you want, they deliver it the same day. The only thing you can't get delivered right now, which really irritates me, is medicine. Because if it wasn't for that, I would never have to go there. Unfortunately, I'm on a lot of medication, and I can't get around going to get it. And so what, when I have to go get it, 
I'm going to do all this other running that I don't want to do. I'm going to do, do do them all at the same time. So I've got to get get my hair cut and I'm probably going to get my hair cut, pick up medicine at Walmart and do two or three drive throughs all at the same time. And I think that's scheduled for next week sometime, next Tuesday, I think. And so, like I said, what you really want to what you really want to practice is um the interruption, re reducing the interruptions and seeing how many at minutes you can go without um, without looking at the phone, without looking at Facebook, without looking at Google, without doing any of that. And so what we're talking about is just being as productive as possible. And I can tell you, Walmart Plus and Amazon, uh, those have helped me a lot. And so most of everything is delivered. All of my food is delivered. And the only thing I have to do is either heat and eat or find someone to come in and cook it for me. And like one of my first hires would be a part-time chef or a personal assistant who would do all of that stuff. And what's interesting, Sam Ovens has that. He has a, he has a, I think he has a, a house person who does it all. That uh, that person does all of it. The, all of Sam's running for him. That person prepares all the meals or gets all of the meals, and Sam's able to work uninterrupted for very very long periods of time because he's got a house manager. I think that's what he calls it, and that's what you want to think about it about. So we're just going back through these. You know, like I said, try and figure out a way to limit the phone. A lot of people are addicted to the phone. They're addicted to drama. They're addicted to Facebook. Uh, figure out a way to turn it off and start and start limiting who you talk to and when you talk to them. And um, like I said, get a bigger monitor. If you want to increase productivity, the, the one of the quickest things that you will increase productivity is getting a bigger monitor. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about going to the next size up from the ones I've got. And uh, when you're eating, if you can figure out a way to be productive when you're not being productive, I think that helps. But doing the 20 minute focus finders, working 20 minute blocks or 40 minute blocks without interruption, I think that will help. And then utilize every app that is available to you that saves you time. Walmart, Walmart Plus, Amazon. Uh, I have a block of time that's like 15 minutes that I use between like midnight and 1 a.m. There's a block of time in there for me to actually go in and place orders. And generally, when I place that order, it shows up the, the next day. Um, Walmart always shows up the next day. And what's great about that is I can schedule that that delivery between noon and one. When I know I'm going to be on lunch, I generally take 20 minutes for lunch. And what's great is that food, generally Walmart shows up right at, like right on the hour. So if, if they say 12, between 12 and one, one and two, two and three, it shows right up right at noon, right at one or right at two. It doesn't show up later on in the hour. Very few times have they been late here. So I'm very, very fortunate in that. And so what I'm doing is I'm just giving you all some ideas. I hope you got some value out of this. It's just a way to get a lot more done in a lot less time and trying to figure out how to be productive. And, and the thing is, if you can do some of these things, what will happen is even if you're burning a lot of time somewhere else, even if you are going out to eat, even if you're taking more time off, what will happen is that time that you are working, you'll be more productive and you'll probably be more productive than a lot of other people out there. But we're going to end out and we will see you on the next video. And thanks a lot.